Hi guys, this is Otis Collier, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a signature to go at the bottom of your email or any other corresponding um, documents that you have going out electronically. Have you ever seen someone's email where it looks like a live, a real signature, not just typed out, but a real signature? I'm going to show you how to do that. It's going to look something similar to this. Now, I have one of those writing pads for my computer, and if you have one of those, this works kind of, kind of neat. It's pretty neat. If you watch here on my screen, you'll see me actually sign my name. And I didn't do a good job, but I don't write that well. Um, but that's a pretty neat little tool and um, I'll share that tool with you a little bit later on but the, the real tool that I want to share with you is I want to share a tool with you that actually automates this process for you and you can do it within two or three minutes so let me move over to that particular website okay we're here at my live signature and here we're going to show you how to create a signature file now I want to show you an example of a signature if I look here, you'll see this signature that actually looks like someone is currently writing it, John Smith. Now that's pretty neat. Now what I also want to do is I want to show you how easy it is to create these types of signatures. So what you would do is you would scroll down and you would actually register and log in. Um, I'm already registered, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and log in. And once I log into the system, I'm actually going to create a quick signature for you to, to see. So I'm here logged in. I don't have any signatures uh, in, the, in the tool. So when you log in, you can actually create multiple signatures. But I'm going to click here to create my first signature. Now, they have a couple of options. One of the options is, is that you can use their tool to create the signature or you can scan your signature so you can actually scan an image and um, and then send them the scanned image and they will actually process the image for you um, you can sometimes you could you could do that yourself if you wanted to just a static image but um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the signature creation wizard and in the sign signature creation wizard I'm gonna type in my name so we'll type in Otis Collier already got it there I'll click next step and from there they give me a couple of different fonts that I can use so you'll see all of the different fonts here some of them are fancy some of them look um, more real than others for example um, font number five looks like I could have actually written that myself it looks a little real uh, font number seven doesn't look like I wrote that at all um, however font number eight now that really looks like something that I could have could have written. That's some terrible handwriting there, and that looks like um, some handwriting font there. So what I'll do is I'll select one of my fonts, and then I'll click Next Step. Now the other thing that I can do is I can determine what size of font I want. So I'm going to take size number four, and then we'll go down here to the bottom and we'll click Next Step and then I even get my font in different colors if I want to do different colors so I'm gonna go down and I'm a blue type of guy so I'm gonna click on color number six we'll click next step and then they will allow you to use different slopes for your signature so you can see some of the signatures are sloping upwards in an upward direction looks like um, a sleigh here like Santa Claus is sleigh what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the regular slope number one and then we'll go down to the next step and then finally I'm going to enter the name of this particular signature so I'm going to enter signature one because I can actually create multiple signatures uh, for my account and then I'll click finished and then there's my signature. This is the new signature that I'll be able to use. Um, it's been created and saved that signature one and I can actually go in and use this and attach this to any of my documents or anything that I uh, any emails anything that I send out. Now if I want to animate the signature 
they have a small fee to animate the signature so that you can actually see the signature being written now that's pretty neat because it catches people's eyes so if you want something that actually catches other folks's eye you um, should click on the animate signature and there are many different ways of doing an animated signature you can do uh, a quick signature you can do a smooth signature or you can have both signatures and those are the prices nineteen dollars and ninety five cents or if you get both signatures twenty four ninety five now you're probably wondering what's a quick signature and what's a smooth signature well those are the quick signatures they quickly you know happen the smooth signature is a more of a smooth approach when they uh... when they write their name so those are the differences between and I'm sorry I didn't have that in the, in the window but those are, those are the differences between a quick signature and a smooth signature okay now you're probably wondering how do I capture this this signature well you could easily click over the signature and copy or save the image as and save it to your hard drive um, or you could also go here where it says use my signature to the left hand side so I'm going to click on use my signature and you have two options here you have the opt the HTML generate code or the bulletin board generate code so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to be using this in say a MySpace posting I'm going to click on generate HTML code and then with my generate HTML code I have two options here I have the option to generate code for my handwritten signature or I can generate code that go over this best regards John Smith so let's click on that and what I'm going to do here is you get a field that says choose your line and then if you have a logo you can put your logo here which I do have a logo um, and then you can put your name occupation company name slogan address line all of this goes into your signature so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and set this up and then once I get it all filled in I'll come back and show you guys what I've done okay now I've set up all of my information so I've got all of my field information in got my address in it asked me to select my signature I've only created one signature so that's signature one and when I go down here this is what it's going to look like best regards Otis call your personal success coach and it says for me to drag my signature wherever I want it to appear so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab this signature and drag it here okay um, I could drag it there but the signature is too large for that to happen so what I'm going to do is just drag it down here at the bottom and the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to generate the code so we'll click generate code and what you'll see here is you'll see this information now I did import my logo and all of this stuff so I would have to play around with this what I probably would do is just import this symbol here and not the full logo here since I've got all this other contact information here but you'll see the code that's here and then all I have to do is copy this code right here and then insert that code wherever I want to add my signature so if I want to add it at the bottom of a um, at the bottom of one of my bulletins on MySpace I can easily do that and so this is how you incorporate your signature now if it's a static signature it's not as impressive as the signature that actually moves so what you may want to do is you may want to um, to go here and actually create one of those moving signatures because those are really really impressive at the bottom of your uh, bulletin at the bottom of your email at the bottom of whatever it is where your signature is going out that's impressive it catches people's eye and that's what marketing is all about is catching people's eye so I'm going to give you the URL uh, the URL should be on the screen to show you where to go get this information and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you soon